Anybody else out in the in the audience that hasn't signed up that might want to speak at the public hearing? Mr. Mayor, I think you're close enough. I think it's close five. enough too. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Strackler's come in and let them. Speak. John wants to watch the game. I do. <laughs> if there's anything in my power to keep this board in until 11 o'clock tonight, I will do all I can of all the things y'all have done. I will do all I can of all the things y'all have done. Or to me. It, yes. All right. The uh, next item is the public hearing regarding the charter of the town of Franklin to change the style of the municipal corporation from board of aldermen to town council. I hereby declare this public hearing open, and we have uh, five people signed up to speak. And the first is uh, Lily Whitehouse. Yes, we can hear you. Mayor, Tom Moore, thank you for letting me speak tonight about the importance of changing the title of alderman to council member. The term alderman derives from Old English and is translated as old men. I believe it is of paramount importance to get younger generations involved in local government. But when we use archaic terms such as alderman, it is unappealing to young women who may have aspirations of someday being on the town board. I feel as though it is important to change this title into council member because it will gain universal appeal and it will be easier to translate when educating children on the different functions of local government and the town board. Our nation has re rapidly progressed since the time we adopted the title of alderman. Women can vote, women can choose to be informed about politics in our nation, and women can even run for office if they so choose. I feel as though if we want to be up to date and in the 21st century, and we want to encourage young women to live professional lives, and to be involved in local politics. It is of great importance that we adopt simple measures like this. Council member is a more inclusive title, and Franklin is an inclusive town. That is why I believe this change is fitting. Thank you for hearing my concerns, and I hope this change is made. Thank you. The next is uh, Lori Beagle. Lori, welcome. Good evening, Mayor and Town. Uh, <laughs> town of Alderman. <laughs> I have worked for the Town of Franklin for 24 years, and I started at the Franklin Police Department as a secretary. After two years, I went to BLET and became a sworn officer. I brought my first badge with me tonight. It says Police Woman. <laughs> and at the time, I just accepted that because I was a rookie, and I thought, I'll just go along and be part of the gang. But it says Police Woman. It also had a number. The thing that happened with these numbers is every time that we would get promoted, we would have to change the badge, or when someone left, you moved up, you got a new badge. So my next badge would have a number, but instead of the spending $100 that it cost to get each new badge to say police woman, I went to police man. But then somewhere along the years, we changed and had a policy and procedure. And when that policy and procedure was written by the town, it became police officer and all gender roles were eliminated, and there's never been a question. It's real easy, though, to roll from policeman into police officer, because you're not changing something that's already familiar to everyone. But then I went to police officer, and they removed the numbers, so that way we didn't have to keep changing badge. But the, one of the concerns I saw was that it may cost so much, but now almost everything we do is digital. It will just require train, changing it digitally in our um, general statute, and then when if someone needs it, they can print it off. But there wouldn't be a name for anyone to buy a badge, but there would be a need for change here. But like she said, it would be welcoming to everyone just to see council member. And after 24 years, I now have a new badge. I've had one for 10 years that just says sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> the town has changed before, and there was no issue with it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nancy Scott. In case y'all, as a disclaimer, this is my wife. This is the first Thank you all. woman. Oh. Thank you all. Let me come and see. Um, you look very good in these places, and I want to thank you for the service you're doing that town. Um, um, yes, I, I would speak in favor of the change. Um, I served on the Board of Aldermen for uh, 11 years with four different mayors. I was thinking about that today. Um, Dr. Henson and um, Steele Smith, Tom Woodley, and um, Mr. Collins. 
And uh, the idea of Alderman never was an issue, but it was just an awkward kind of thing. People would say, Alderwoman, which isn't a word, and Alderman, which didn't fit. And so I just think this is a common sense change, and it's time to do it. I like tradition, but this is obsolete. So I would recommend change. I wanted to speak about two other things, but I don't get to do that now. Uh, you missed the public comment. Okay, that's fine. I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Joyce Hanley. For those who don't know me, I was eight years as an alderman. I ran for an alderman. I knew that was going to be my title. Um, never bothered me one way or the other. I knew my sex. Um, yes, it was awkward sometimes. You had to explain it, but once you did explain it to people, they kind of just rushed their shoulders and said, go with it. To me, it's history. Uh, a lot of people have held that office, women, um, and we all held it to do our jobs. We did it to better our town. We didn't care what we were called, well, within reason, what we were called. <laughs> but um, I think it's, it, a change is always good, but do we have to? I think a lot of young women who are coming up aren't going to be caring whether they're called an alderman or an alderwoman or a consul. They're wanting to do the job. They're out there to do the job and get it done. Thank you. Ms. Cuppers, Susanna Cuppers. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I come here on behalf of a group of progressive women seeking favor of the change to town council. Um, I actually spent my morning doing a little bit of research, and I won't bore you with all of it, but there is research to back up the fact that language is powerful. It not only serves as a reflection of history and society that we're in, but it continues to shape those perceptions. And if we continue to use language that is not inclusive, it continues to render, uh, excuse me, to render women and those who don't conform to black and genders as invisible. And so we support this change. That's all that I have signed up. Did I miss anything? If not, uh, Council Allen. <coughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, Mr. Scott, Mayor, may I say one more thing? Yes, I might. I, might. <laughs> I would like to just know that the taxpayers would need to know, and I understand what you're saying about being digitally, but it is going to prove a, a, a be it a burden on our budget, there are going to be fees for changing this. And do our taxpayers want to have to be paying this at this time? Um, I, I can answer that in a few minutes for you. Hmm? I can answer that. Are you the only taxpayer here in the room? No, ma'am. Okay. But uh, if you'd like to ask the question of the taxpayers, uh, feel free to do so. Well, okay. There are none of them here to. Okay. All right. There being no further comments, uh, I'll close this uh, public hearing at uh, 11 minutes after 7. And, Mr. Mayor, procedural yes. note, I'm just sitting here reviewing the, the uh, statute that mm -hmm. permits amendment by ordinance. And what it says is following the public hearing, but not earlier than the next regular meeting of the council, and not later than 60 days from the day of the hearing, you can consider an adopted ordinance. So you're actually not permitted to take action on this subject tonight. You would have to, it says not later than the next regular meeting. So we're, we're voting on it. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the direction of the statute is not earlier than the next regular meeting. So the idea being, you announce the intention to make this change in the, uh, the charter. Um, you have properly noticed that and had a hearing on it now. But the, the next direction is not earlier than the next regular meeting. And I so apologize, not, I should have set the next Yeah, I think you should let, let us know I, that uh, sooner. I completely because we were prepared for vote tonight, that's why. Well, I, I understand if, um, you know, I understand It's that. on the agenda, oh, so I guess we well, need to modify the agenda. I think it just got modified. <laughs> <laughs> well, my apologies, but if you, I just, before you have the, we well, can have the discussion tonight if you want to, but you wouldn't be permitted to take action on it in one way to call the discussion just before the action.
I should have known this. I guess we should have known this. Okay, let's move on. All right. So, under the new business, we can have some discussion of this, but apparently we cannot take a, a vote on it tonight. Uh, does anyone want to weigh in one way or the other on this? I would like to know what the cost is going to be. I, I think I can answer that. Uh, we did a little uh, research, and basically, as we pass new ordinances and we do uh, new changes in the ordinance book, the cost to have a frontage page made that can be copied locally in front of all our ordinance, uh, ordinance books, it's basically going to cost $18.50. And what that does is that allows us to have a front page telling everyone that where the term alderman is used, it is now councilman. Is that not what we can do? I think that would be sufficient for, you know, at least the first run at, at what the ordinance uh, book says. I mean, I think it's legally sufficient to say this term is understood throughout uh, to do this. Yes, sir. Now, I do think that uh, as, as people rotate in and off the board, the business cards do have all of them on them right now. But as you run out of those, they'll be replaced. There is no stationery or anything like that within the town that says anything other than town of Franklin in our address. The, uh, I, I can, Madam Manager, can you think of anything that would... Uh, um, would you tell us what you the numbers that you have researched? Sure, I'd be glad to. Kind of to echo Mayor Scott, um, it does appear that in the ordinance book that we currently have and speaking with um, American Legal Publishing, it will cost you around $18 to $18.50 per page. And it is per page whether the term is used once or 20 times. However, I did look to see kind of how many pages we would be looking at in your current ordinance book. Your ordinance book is currently 276 pages, I believe. So if you were to do the full change at once, now this is just ballpark just for your ordinance book, and there may be pages that don't have that in there, but the worst case scenario you'd be looking at is around $4,968. $5,000. But that is not what I have been led to believe. Because my understanding was that all we need to do and, and Council, I think you mentioned this, was that we can make the change with one page on the very beginning of all our ordinance books, which they would charge $18.50 to, and then we could reproduce it locally. You can do that, but if you want to go... But if we do what? If you do the whole thing. Yeah, the whole you book. You do the whole 276 pages. But at that's, some time, isn't the whole book going to have to be done? I mean, and this that is does, just a band-aid, isn't it? And that does happen on a regular basis anyway, which is it's one of the reasons we've been trying to work for moving away from a printed, you know. Ideally, we're eventually going to have a, a situation where there is one printed ordinance book and it's in the, the town clerk's office. And otherwise, you can go online and find all of it. So we're, we've been trying to move in that direction or, or, or continuing to do so. Um, there may be occasion that comes up sooner rather than later to, to look at a, you know, some global changes like, like that. But I, I don't know that, that just this change would cause you to incur that cost. And I do think it's legally sufficient to... Madam Clerk, would you cost. tell me how much it would cost to change this? Those are around $100 each. But now you can, you can rotate it in or you can phase it in one at a time if you want it. Isn't this something, though, that's going to be under the direct purview of the, of the town manager? Isn't, that, isn't this part of her? If we vote to change it, isn't, isn't that the hard to do? Uh, to cover the cost, uh, any associated yeah, costs? Uh, and I guess I'm, losing, I'm really thinking about it. the ball game, and I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> um, but if, you, if we do something, she's the one that has to implement it. So it's going to be up to her to figure out which way she wants to do it. It's not really going to be up to us at this point, is it? 
I think the vote to do it is up to us. Oh, but it is. Yeah. Right. It's the vote. Yes. But after the vote, then she's got to implement whatever change we tell her. And so I'm thinking that the, any cost associated with our vote is going to be up to her and not up to the town council. You take it out of general. I mean, I don't, and I don't know that we have a pinned down number exactly of what it would cost. Um, I think we'll have to. But, well, there, there is a pin down number because it depends on which way the town board wants to go. If you want to follow Mayor Scott's suggestion, you can phase it in over time. However, if you're wanting a total ballpark cost of if we were to take this tomorrow, if you legally could, and change the entire book, then you would be looking at the full $4,968. But there's two approaches that you could take to this. In, in is there not additional cost other than just the book? You may have legal counsel fees. If you did go to change your nameplates, you could you could look at a cost. I mean, you could go as high as eight thousand dollars, but it's dependent on how the board wants to do it. You can phase it in over time, or you can buy the bite the bullet and do it all at once. All right. So I guess there's no point in proceeding any further tonight. Sorry, I would like to get a consensus of the board, how the board feels, and open it for discussion. We just discussed it, didn't we? We just discussed it. Well, I haven't finished mine yet. <laughs> uh, Ms. McCray? I just wanted to say one thing. Um, speaking of tradition, um, it's my understanding from reading all the documents that the first uh, members of the board of the town of Franklin were called commissioners town commissioners and um, so at some point that was changed to all of them so it's not like we're just always have been changing it now I think personally commission is confusing because we have a commissioners but, but that was the case at the time well you know we've done we've done a lot of things for change one of them's right back here we got rid of that old seal cost us an arm and a leg. And we put this up there. And now people know what Franklin's about. They didn't know when we were using the state system. We changed that. Uh, we no longer refer to firemen or policemen, all that. We've, we've talked about that. This town's changing. We're a high-tech center. We're a regional medical center. A tourist destination. New restaurants are coming in. A center for environmental <coughs> groups, arts, and our outdoor activities. It's time to move into that period. And one of the ways that we do it, I did a little check. In, in the past 27 years, there have been two women on every one of these boards that we're sitting around tonight. <coughs> two women. Women are going into every kind of public service. They're becoming CEOs of organizations. They're going into our public service, they're becoming managers, every way you look at it. This allows us to be gender neutral. And I, for one, cannot see where there's any harm in doing that. I think the cost has been a little bit overstated because this is one of those things that we can do over time as we did our stationery, putting our logo on which everybody really loves and they identify with Franklin. I don't know, I, uh, I've been, I thought that we were going to have a vote tonight, frankly. But I will say this, change is inevitable, whether we like it or not, it's coming to Franklin. Just look where we are today, compared to where we were 15, 20, 30 years ago. And, and, and we're basically, as far as Western North Carolina is concerned, we're pretty much the go-to town. Can I say one more? You certainly may, please. Yeah. I want to thank all the people who spoke tonight and um, last at the last meeting we had a lady who spoke. I think you all made some wonderful points. Lily, you did a great job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, but I, I think that it looks to me like especially women are excited about this happening. We've had so many coming up the top. And I, I think it obviously means a lot to young women and what you call somebody really does matter. Yes. 
right. Unless there's some other comment, we'll move on. Um, I'll comment, actually. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, Patty, go ahead. Since we're talking about it being general neutral and about it making women want to do the job, I kind of go with Joyce on this. I knew what the name was when I got into this. I don't get into political correctness. Um, I knew it was Alderman. So as far as I'm concerned, I could care less what I'm called. It's the job that I do. Um, and I look at it as what, are we making it, you know, pretty for people to want to be it? Uh, there's, there's two sides of the way you look at, at a name. I don't care if we change it one way or the other. If it doesn't cost us money, I'm fine. But um, I also don't like to send the message that the job that you do is in the name that it holds. Um, so that's just my two cents worth on that. Um, sure, pending the cost. Um, I would be in favor of the change. If it were $5,000, I would probably change my mind. If it's $18.50, I would be in favor of the change. My thought is, like Patty, I couldn't really care less what I'm called as long as I'm able to do the job to the best of my ability. But if it makes people feel that we are more approachable and more inclusive and I don't know, more available, um, then I don't see a reason not to change it. I have, you know, I have no attachment to the term necessarily. Um, you know, especially when I, anyone asks me about it and they say, well, people usually say, you're a commissioner now, right? And I say, no, alderman. And then the next question, of course, is what is an alderman? And then when I say it's like town council, then it's clear. Oh, okay, I get it. So there's that aspect of it as well. People don't always even know what it is. but. Um, and for me personally, it doesn't, it never weighed that heavy, but I see that it is important to people in this town and people that I care about. And I don't know, I would be in favor of changing it if it makes the town board more, more inviting to, to those individuals. Anybody else going away? The only thing I would say is uh, it seems like. Is there any possible uh, town manager and council to get a little more details on kind of the specifics would work if we did phase that in, if we did that $18.50 first page, mm -hmm. like maybe to give the public, because obviously they're concerned with some matter, some idea at the next meeting, or whenever we decide to hold that, the vote on this. Well, let me say, the kind of state statutes, and we were under the state statutes. But yeah, just kind of an idea so we know how much we have to spend up front year two, year we three. Would be glad to, because I understand, the, as I think you were trying to say, John, that you know, there's a, we're going to change some of those anyway for other reasons as we go forward. So you can do that at the same time. It's not necessarily an inherent cost with this, but as much as it is, maybe just break the time. Yeah, I think no, we'll certainly be glad to because it depends on which way you go. You want worst case scenario, we gave it to you, or you can do another approach. Yeah, so exactly. it's. Mr. Collins, you want to say anything? Okay. I've tried to figure it out, and I don't really have a huge side, so I generally just say where I'm at. Okay. Okay. No reason to. okay. All right. Looks like that's a pretty much a dead issue right now. Thank all y'all who came and spoke. I appreciate it.